Morning. It's day two, the journey of Mila lifestyle, morning moments, madness, and meditations. And thank you for joining me yesterday. Thank you for all your feedback on just showing up, like how our meditation yesterday like really helped you throughout your day, how you incorporated in your life for you. Because that's the thing, right? Like with meditation or whatever your practice is that you have, it can't be something that someone else said that you need to do. It's something that you have to incorporate into your life that works for you. So again, Journey and Vila Lifestyle, Morning Moments, Madness and Meditations. If you're just joining us, um, I'm Camila Tibbetts. I'm launching a website called Mila Lifestyle, and I'm just taking you behind the curtain. I've launched and built um, and scaled two brands in the past, and this is just another venture for me, one that I'm really doing solo without a team, and I just wanna take you behind the curtain and like show you the transparency of what that looks like. And you know, for me in my life, there were times that I really had to t make big changes in my life, and for me, what really helped was creating that accountability because I really didn't have accountability. I had a lot of yes people. And so me showing up for you, I know is my accountability as well. So when I'm telling you these things, when I'm telling you these meditations, when I'm sharing with you like all the drama and things that are going on, it's creating accountability for myself. Because when I woke up this morning again, like this is the madness. Like I woke up late, I'm tired, I'm sleepy. Concealer helps everything. Concealer helps everything. Hello. So I was like, I, can't, I was like, I gotta show up. I said, I, I, I gave my word. I'm gonna show up. And so this is what I'm doing today. So just to dive in, because I want to make sure this is like powerful and brief. Uh, so our two meditations this morning are be gentle with yourself and who tells your story. So again, the meditations are be gentle with yourself and who tells your story. So just to take you into a bit of the madness of Mila lifestyle right now. I met with my mentor and if you're launching something or if you're doing something, it's okay to get yourself a mentor. And if it's a business, I always like to share things because I don't I don't see the value of holding information. Like if you're like, girl, what lipstick are you wearing? I'm gonna tell you what lipstick I'm wearing because it's gonna look different on you than it looks on me. Like I just don't hold information. I truly believe that everyone can win. Like why, that's we should incorporate that into our meditation, right? Everyone can win. So there's a great national organization called SCORE, S-C-O-R-E, and um, you can get mentors depending on what's your business, what, um, what have you. So I met with her yesterday and it was just really good because she was able to see like how much I had built from just me talking to her about what my vision for Mila Lifestyle was and then showing her like my inventory of products, showing her, you know, where where the website is going. And the reality is, is that you still need people in your life that are gonna encourage you because I did get into I did get trapped in a bit of fear and her encourage her encouragement to me was go back and look at your press kit, go back and look at your debt, like go back and look at your brand strategy because this is where you shine. So I'm going to ask you today to remember, like, where is it that you shine? Like we all have a place where we know like this is my jam, like this is what I do well. So find out where you shine and always incorporate that in whatever your dream or your vision is for your life. So again. Mila Lifestyle, it's launching. There's so many things to do. I'm still able to like hire people that are skilled in other areas where they shine to put them on the team. But the first meditation this morning is to be gentle with yourself because you know, the voice that we have in our head, that committee in our head, like we're harder on ourselves than we are with, with other people. And so when you're in the midst of transition or when you're in the midst of an unknown, and this is unknown, right? Like we don't know what's gonna happen next. And if you're like me, a person that's used to strategy, a person that's used to a plan, where what we're living through right now is is a time where we really can't say definitively, like this is my next move, right? But even though we can't, even though we don't know what's happening on the outside, we can control what's going on, on the inside in us with our spirit, with our demeanor. And so I really want to encourage you for your meditation today to be very gentle with yourself. And when I talk about gentleness, I want to talk about something that comes up a lot when I mentor people or I work with people. And that's I want a really when we when we're gentle with ourselves, I want to dig deeper and I want you to silence the shame. OK, so like there's a lot of things where you're like, Camila. I want to launch my brand or Camila, I want to write a book now that I'm at home or, and the reality is, is that there's some shame or there's some things that you're wearing around like a coat. Like I'm wearing, like I'm wearing this coat, like you're wearing some shame around 
something that you've done, something that you didn't accomplish, something that didn't go right, and we gotta silence that. We gotta like take that and put it on the shelf. So when we're gentle with ourselves, and that, and that comes up, that shame comes up, we need to silence that, e either whether it's creating accountability for that or speaking back to it, you know, like, you don't wanna walk around talking to yourself, but the reality is, is that if you hear that voice that's like, oh, but remember you didn't accomplish this, or remember this didn't happen, it's okay for you to speak back and say, this is, this is who I am. This is what I know is true. You need to separate the facts from the lie. Like, what is the lie that I'm believing right now? And so be gentle with yourself, silence the shame, and remember that this is a process, right? So when we're going through things, when we're looking at what our next moves are, we have to remember that there's a promise in the process, right? So when I'm going through things, when I'm launching Mila Lifestyle, and everything seems array and my house is a mess and I can't show up for the people that I love 100% because when I'm with them, my mind is thinking about something else. I have to encourage myself and know that there's a promise in the process. And if I know that promise and, and if I can stay clear on that, when the waves come and when the trials come, I can go back to that promise and I can be gentle with myself. And a, a, a good tool I'm gonna show you guys is when I get a little anxious, what I do is like I put, um, I put one hand on my on my heart and I put one hand like on my belly. So I'm gonna stand up real fast, okay? So like I put one hand on my heart and I put one hand on my belly and I center myself. I breathe in and I'm just like I'm safe, right? Like I breathe in and I'm safe. And 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 that's the joy, that's that's the promise of my life today, right? Because I've gone through a lot of processes but I'm a, I'm a woman that can keep herself safe today, right? And so you can be that person, like you can keep yourself safe. And when we're safe and we're calm, like that pours over into other people. So again, our meditation is be gentle with yourself. And the next meditation I want you guys to take away with is who tells your story. And I was thinking about this because Anything that you do, you're thinking about how you want to, you're branding yourself, right? So when I'm, when I'm, when I build my businesses, I'm always thinking about what's my brand, what's my brand voice, like who am I going after? And if you're, you're like, I'm just, I'm just a teacher, I'm just a photographer, I'm just a mom, but you're still like, but people have something to say, right? So you're still a brand. When you look at your resume, when you look at your CV, when you look at your deck, that's still your brand. And you want to be very clear on who tells your story. And, in, and you know who tells your story? You do. And so in order for you to tell your story effectively, you really need to strengthen your voice, okay? So when, when I, if we take it back to Mila Lifestyle, I really thought about being of service, right? Because I've had brands, I know how it works, but I really thought about who is it that I wanna serve? And I create kind of this, I create this person in my mind. So I'm thinking about where where do they live? What, what where do they go to dinner? Like. How See, I don't know how to turn up. I think I do not disturb. I literally have to have my 23-year-old son do that, and he's not here. But he usually tells me, Google it, Mom, and I don't have time to Google it. Like, I had to, I had to be accountable. So, um, but those are things that happen, right? And so you can't, when things happen like that, like my alarm went off, you got you to gotta keep going, and you got to be clear about it. So being really clear on who is this person, because if you have an idea of who this person is, then it's gonna be very easy for you to service them in your business strategy. So let's say, for example, you're a photographer, right? You're like, I'm a photographer. Okay, great, you're a photographer. You wanna, you wanna build this brand, build this business of being a photographer. You need to decide who your client's gonna be, right? You need to decide, do I like to, you know, be do street photography? Do I like to shoot only couples? Do I like to shoot when there's a lot of activity around me? Do I like to shoot when it's more a calm environment and senior photos? And once you know where you thrive in, then go deeper. Okay, so let's say it's like, I like to shoot couples. Okay, that's fine. What type of couples do you like to shoot? Do you like to shoot super creatives that move around a lot? Do you like to shoot only in weddings? And you start to make a list of who this person is that you're trying to service. And you do that you do that in anything that you're doing, whether you're a teacher, whether you're in finance, like who is your who is your client in finance? And so that's that's how we build a brand voice, right? This is a voice of, of, of our consumer. And so if you look at some different brands or different companies, they really have a voice. And you can tell what their voice is in terms of if you look at their Instagram, there's a voice, there's a voice on their feed, right? There's a voice in how in their copy. There's a vo there's a voice in in the people that they have. Uh, the influence 
influencers that they have match that voice. So you need to be really clear. We want to be really clear on who tells our story and what our voice is. And so if we think about that, it's like, this is where we're going, right? And so we take these little meditations. So our two meditations today are be gentle with yourself, you know, silence the shame, there's promise in the process. And the second part is realizing who tells your story and strengthening your voice. And, if, and I always wanna leave you, I'm really big on analogies. And so I always wanna leave you with, if you think about like when you shoot a, a bow and arrow, right? And, and, you're in, and, you're in this, and you're in this stage and you feel like, I'm being pulled, I'm being challenged. This is not what I planned for 2020. I want you to remember that you're being pulled back. And, and when you're being, and the whole idea with the bow and arrow is that the more it's pulled back, the, the farther it can go, right? So the more I'm pulled back, the farther I can go. And so in this moment, when it's almost like the arrow, like you're being pulled back, you're being stretched, you're strengthening your voice, you know, you're silencing the shame, you're being gentle with yourself, all those areas where you're being stretched, I can stand firm in telling you that there will come a time. It will not be today. But like we said before, there's promise in the process. There will come a time that as you're being pulled and as you're being stretched, that you will launch into greatness, that you will launch into greatness of what you're called to do, that you will launch into that saving grace, that standing firm in who you are and what and whatever that means. And, and that greatness that's for me is not for you, but in the stretching, and this is what we can do together. We can stretch together, we can pe pull back together, we can meditate on what's true, which is that we, we hold our voice, we silence the shame, we're gentle with ourselves, and every morning in the journey of meal lifestyle, we get stronger together, we get wiser together, and we become better. So thanks for joining me this morning. It's Friday. When I have my kids, I would call it family fun Friday. Like, it's just me now. Um, but it's Friday. So what we'll do is, like, we'll circle back around on Monday, and I'll, um, we'll, we'll start our meditations. But just have a great weekend. You know, make sure you experience some type of joy. Make sure, make sure you surround yourself with people that bring out the best in you. And those that don't, make sure you just kind of put them on time out. You know, we can still put adults on time out. I used to put my kids on time out. We can put adults on time out. And just remember, be gentle with yourself this weekend. Re think about who tells your story and strengthen your voice. And have a good morning. Take care, guys. Ciao.